Continues between the USA and Russia here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. 163 pounds in the red singlet for the United States. A veteran and a very successful one for the United States, Dave Schultz, world and an Olympic champion for the United States. And he is wrestling against Rasul Katinavasov of Russia. Katinavasov, the champion in the Goodwill Games in 1994, and he was fourth in the 1991 World Championship. So two veterans, two successful wrestlers, and a very important matchup here in this dual meet between Russia and the United States. Katinavasov down from 180 pounds, down to 163. Schultz not having the tournament that he hopefully would have wanted. But really, this is the big this is the big match to win. We want to win against the Russians. This is for the World Cup team title. I think Schultz might think he has scored some points here, but the referees have not indicated that. There's two points for Red. At least the referee put them up. I'm not sure. We're going to have to wait for the referees to sort it out. It looked as though the Russians scored, and then the Red Russians the the scored out. But we can probably we have, have an exchange of control here that may result in another point too, Jeff. So the scoreboard shows two to two, but the Matt chairman awarded a different combination of points. The Matt referee held up a different combination and the Matt judge. So they're all conferring at the head table. Well, I felt Schultz should have at least two. It may be that Katina Vasov will also get an additional two because he brought Schultz back there. Everything is an interpretation as to who initiated the technique. This sometimes poses problems for not only the officials, but for people watching. Six times national champion to go along with those two. Katina Vasov from Hachkala also has a twin brother, just like Brands. Zagid, who has been very successful in the next weight class up, even two kilograms. So we have a question right now of what exactly is the score in this match. Stay tuned and we will find out. They have to come to some kind of an agreement. I think, as Dave Schultz has indicated, the score should be two to two. I think they may give one more point to Katina Vasov for the exchange of control after the scoring of points. Well, it seems he put Schultz to his back first, then Schultz countered and got his own, but I have a feeling that Schultz is going to wind up trailing here after the Russian referees sort right, this out. Schultz, 84 Olympic champion, 83 we'll world champion, the seven the time. Was four up there. Well, they've got four a short a few, Jeff, so wow. we don't know what we're talking about. Four two for wow. Schultz. I think they felt there was a change of position that where Schultz was still on his back. So they gave a two and a two to Martin Vasov and a two to Schultz. The score is four and two with three minutes and 50 seconds to go. 163 pounds. Schultz is working that front headlock. I believe he had both arms trapped in that front headlock, and they felt that that was the hold that was dominating the position, thus the points went his way. And there's a takedown for Katina Vasov. Makes it four to three. Whatever fatigue Katina Vasov had, he doesn't have it anymore because that was quite a long break. There's two more points. Oh, Schultz has got him in the headlock. He's in trouble. He's in trouble here. Doing a great job of countering. Two and two. Well, throughout most of this World Cup, we have had a real exchange of points. Emotionally, when it seems like one person is in control, it shifts back to another. And right now on the scoreboard, we have a six to five score for Schultz, which, which uh, should be accurate. Well, you know, as I'm reading the score, Jeff, now I'm confused. Well, Katina Vasov had a takedown and a tilt. Schultz countered after the tilt, getting his own two points. So Schultz was at four, he goes to six. Katina Vasov got one and two. He's up from two to five. That seems correct. Six to five for Dave Schultz of the United States. Dave has been around a long time in international wrestling. He's at 163, very successful, moved up to 180. Three and a half, and has come back down to 163 pounds. A real veteran, a real savvy competitor, technically very sound, has a reputation throughout the world for a tremendous variety of technique, but probably not as strong or as physical or as conditioned as he used to be. 
nonetheless holding his own. Looked as though Fitzayev, the Russian coach, was telling his wrestler to stop and wait. It seems as though Fitzayev might lodge a protest with the scoring of this bout. Right now, Schultz leads by one point and tries a nice counter with the back exposure. Pinabasa still in on the leg. Schultz doing his best to counter and is able to free his leg now. Got a front headlock again. Let's see if he'll try for the points. This is where we got into that wild scoring situation before. And they'll return to the center. Some interesting six, five, maneuvering, six, but no six, points. Six. Schultz is still ahead on the scoreboard, six to five. Stay tuned. We may have a protest in this one regarding the scoring there. Although I don't think they'll take advantage of the video to change it. So perhaps whatever happens from here on out is going to decide this match. 150 remaining, one five minute period. Score notched at 10 to 10 in what was expected to be a tie dual meet for the World Cup Championship. Well, Mario Soletnik, the FILA representative here, having a very busy day trying to sort this all out. They're going to call for a caution against well, passivity, not caution. They're going to call for passivity against Schultz. This will give Kapinavasa an opportunity to put him down in the frontier position and see if he can work some magic from there. He needs to match score. Here. This is a pivotal match. Many people felt Schultz was Schultz was not wrestling as well as he might have, and probably was not favored in this match. Schultz has a history of doing what you least expect, particularly when it goes against the Russians. Well, in your season, you can deal with the pressure. And you love to compete. Anything can happen. I think we're seeing Dave Schultz give us one of his better matches. Be careful. Doesn't give up anything. Well, Kinovas not trying to pull him over, but he's going to get himself in trouble. That's going to be too close. Off, close to turning Schultz, almost exposed him. Forced too hard. Schultz came out on top. He's ahead, eight to five. Schultz trying a lace leg wrap there, unable to get it. But what he is doing very well now is killing the remaining time. 23 seconds remain. He has a three-point lead. You can look for Schultz to try and block, grab hands, keep Katina Vasov from trying anything offensive, particularly upper body. There he's moving the head. There it is, he's clasping hands now. He'll try to hold the wrist to keep him at bay. 10 seconds. I'm surprised Katina Vasov not being overly aggressive now. This is when he needs it. Well, that should do it. I don't think anything else is going to happen. Time runs out. And world and Olympic champion, he was a national champion at Oklahoma a long time ago in 1982. Dave Schultz out of Newtown Square, Pennsylvania, wins this match. Eight to five at 163 pounds. This is a plus for this USA team, perhaps a weight class that the Soviets might have been favored in coming into this match. But nonetheless, Dave Schultz, the winner. Now let's go to him as he talks with Jeff. David, the points seem to come in bunches, quick scrambles, lots of back exposure. How are you able to keep track of it all? That's your job. I just look at it when it's over and see what happens. How did you feel you wrestled thus far in the World Cup? Luckily. I'm a very lucky wrestler. Well, how do you feel this is leading up to 95 and 96? Good progression. I just hope we win here tonight. But it's a good stepping stone for us, and I think we're all very excited, of course. It's uh, this year, our second biggest meet, only to the world's in Atlanta, and it's all at home. Best of luck, Dave. 